Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to show you how you use Aweber as your email autoresponder, how to write emails and how to um, set up automation for your email campaigns. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into a video. So first things first, you need an account. I created a new one here um, to show you everything from scratch. And uh, let's start together now. Um, what you see here is the dashboard of Aweber. And you got here different options. But before we start, let me say um, Aweber is free until you have 500 subscribers. And after that, it is uh, $20 in the month, I think. Yeah, it's here. Um, I highly recommend go with the pro plan because there's one simple thing um, I will show you if you go here under the list options and confirmation message if you use your free plan you always have this box here turned on you want uh, all three turned off this is only um, a confirmation for the subscriber that he uh, confirm that he subscribed to your list <laughs> that was a good sense um, but if you um, upgrade to the pro plan you can turn it off so you can uh, um, uh, so your subscriber don't get those emails that they has to confirm anything else because they did it in your funnel and if they never confirm that they never get an email from you that's why i highly recommend go with the pro plan but that's uh, a par today i want to show you how you can write your emails and um, how you can um, automate your email sequences with it so before we start writing i want to show you how it works with the list in Aberwa. you've got here in the top left corner um the uh, list menu uh, where you can see all your lists um uh, manage your existing ones or create new ones and uh, name it like you want because um, you um, connect uh, every list with a single product you promote or a single niche you promote uh, that's why you can separate those so then let's go with the important part uh, writing the emails um, if you go over here to the messages menu um, you got uh, different off uh, options uh, the draft menu is uh, pretty simple there are your written emails are stored uh, the broadcast menu is uh, to schedule an uh, email uh, to your whole list with some information or so a newsletter from yourself and last one we got the split test where you can write um, uh, one email in two different ways i would say and uh, check out which one worked better uh, with your list or which resonate better but uh, we go all in with the drafts uh, today to show you how it's done. Um, here in the top right corner, you got the option create message. And we choose the drag and drop email builder. It is pretty simple. Um, here you've got your email subject line in the top left corner. Um, different elements you can choose from to implement in your emails. And here, for example, the um, written text. Um, you can put in uh, an image, for example, and then this will pop up here. And you can choose uh, from an image from Aweber or use um, own uploaded photos uh, to implement them in your marketing. So, for example, this way. <coughs> Pretty simple, um, comes down to what product you want to promote uh, and the information you want to um, give out. Uh, you write uh, your email and that's it, how it works. Uh, your first email would be done by that. Um, you've got here on the top right corner um, the option to preview and test your mail if you have any links in it or something else that it worked properly and it looks good. So if you click here, you will see how um, your subscriber will see the email in his uh, inbox and that was it your first email is done we save and exit here now and now the email will appear in your drafts folder so 
this is how I write my emails and um, schedule them out from my drafts folder. If I want to send them out immediately, I go over here to the schedule button and uh, send them out immediately. You can choose the time or which uh, subscriber would get them or which list. This is up to you. But as we got uh, no subscriber in the list, that's no option for us now. <laughs> So fast interruption here if you like what you see so far please leave me a like and uh, subscribe or let me uh, know in the comments what you think it would me help a lot so let's go further with the video so i work with my emails from the draft folder um i write everything here and store it in this folder because then uh, if i want to start a campaign i can uh, choose these uh, from my drag and drop builder and implement them into my campaign which is pretty easy and will be our next step. So let's start and create our first campaign. So if you go over here to the automations menu and the campaigns menu, you will see Aweber got a pre-done welcome campaign for us here. Uh, you can work with, but uh, I want to show you how it's done from scratch. So um, we create a complete new one in that case. We've got here in the top right corner the create campaign button. And then we've got plenty of options to choose from, but as we start from scratch, we uh, choose the blank campaign here. This will be our own welcome campaign then and create. So this is a dashboard for the campaigns. Um, campaigns are triggered by two different options. The first one will be our welcome campaign here in this case uh, with a subscribe trigger. When a new subscriber comes to your list, the campaign starts. But also you can apply different um, text to your subscriber to um, switch them from that campaign to another campaign that uh, products or information suits the subscriber better. In that case, we've got the welcome campaign and go with the subscribe trigger. So that's pretty easy. You've got here the drag and drop options to choose from. So what should our campaign do after the subscriber comes to our list? I normally put a little wait section here that you drag and drop here over it and it's done if you took it and got here the little options menu. I normally go with five minutes after the subscriber comes to my list, the first action comes out of my campaign. So we send a message. The subscriber comes to your list waiting five minutes and the first email goes out. And that's how it's done with the campaigns. It's pretty simple. You stack your campaigns, so far you wanna do it. Um, you can send out 100 emails, you can send out two emails. It's up to you how you wanna do it. Now we are at the point where I said I uh, work with my drafts folder only and it's better for me before uh, because it's more comfortable for me. Um, in that case, you will see that the pro plan is better again, because if you click on the message here in the pro plan, you've got here a little button where you can choose from your created messages out of the drafts folder. Here you've got only the create message button where you can uh, create here in this campaign your email. But uh, the other way is pretty simple for me and works better for me. So again, after the first email goes out, we wait a day. It's a standard plan for an email to go out and that's the next email. So simple is it? It is nothing more. And again, so it's gone down so far as you want. There we got it. Surely you have to fill this messages with informations about the product uh, but uh, this is up to you how you want it or how to fill them but it's as i said it would be better with a uh, um, done drafts from your folder so that was it if you now go on to save and exit you've got your campaign here issues found because you not fill in the emails now but that would work if a new subscriber now comes to your list um, the email would be uh, the email campaign would be started and the emails go out to the subscriber. So the best part about the campaigns is um, they can be implemented. If you want to promote uh, different products from companies, 
um, they got in most times pre-done email campaigns for you where you only have to um, change the affiliate links or different options about you um, and implement those then into your campaign folder. Uh, in that case, I show you it uh, with my own welcome campaign and let's implement uh, this to your campaign folder then. So you go to create campaign and here at the top, you've got the import campaign button. And there you will copy paste the share code from my list. Now I fill it in into the description as well. You don't have to type it <laughs> right now. So import, and then you can name it as you want. I go as test now and create. Then it will take a little moment from everywhere to proceed. As you go, as you see here, it will take and in lifetime, it will be there. There we've got it. If you now click on this, you've got my complete welcome campaign um, for a legendary marketer is it now. And the only thing you have to do is if you want to uh, um, go with that, you have to um, change your affiliate links and for sure um, if you are, there are story emails from me, you have to change these as well. So this was it for this video. Um, how you can build your first email or create your first email campaign using Aweber as your email autoresponder. If you like what you see, uh, let me know it in the comments down below. And leave a like and subscribe. Would appreciate it. I'm out.